Yo, what's up guys? It's Kevin Pack here. And in today's video, I'm going to help all of you noobs out there, all you beginners selling on Amazon or trying to get into Amazon on simply how do you actually list a product on Amazon? And if you've already tried, you might have come across some error, something with your UPC code, or you may get an error 5656, I think, or it's that, it's 5665, that's what it is. Regardless, you're gonna go through some roadblocks just trying to put up an Amazon listing because there are some restrictions. Amazon is being kind of more strict about who can actually uh, put a product on Amazon. They don't want just anybody just putting it up on there. So they want legitimate brands and products and companies to be actually doing this. Now you guys gotta bear with me. I actually recently broke my glasses. I lost one of the screws that's supposed to be down here. So you're gonna see there's a little bit of tape going on here, but it's okay. It's the tape is strong. It's holding up for now. So it, it's good. It's okay. But I have a new pair of glasses coming in probably within like the, la in the next uh, four days or so, something like that. I hope sooner, but in about four or five days, I'm going to get my new pair of glasses because before the screw came out, I had already ordered uh, a new pair of glasses anyway. So it's, it was just good timing. Now, before we dive into my computer, I'm going to show you guys my sales. So you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller. All right, so it's about 10 a.m., 10 something a.m. And we're gonna refresh. There we go, boom, live refresh. And there he goes, my timer. I put a time limit on my Amazon um, app so that I don't refresh it all damn day. So that's the signal. Can't, can't refresh for the rest of the day. All right, guys, so here we are on my computer and on my account. So make sure that you first have an actual Seller Central account. That's number one. So let's go through these basics real quick and show you guys how to actually avoid these uh, listing problem issues, okay? So what we're gonna do is make sure you start off and go to catalog and add your products. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and pick out uh, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon because it's your specific product that's not being sold on Amazon. They're not asking if the product in general is being sold on Amazon or not, okay? So you're gonna pick this and it's gonna you know, ask you to go through uh, categories or whatnot. I like to do is go search for the category and I just type in the product. Say, let's say it's just a beach ball, okay? Beach ball, I don't know, search. And then it'll say beach toys, beach balls, whatever. Pick the category that makes sense. So we'll go here. All right, and now this is where we're going to go in and put in the vital information. And uh, you don't have to fill out everything, but there's certain information in here that you have to put in uh, that will allow you to pass through the errors. So make sure you get a UPC code. You can get a UPC code from Barcodes Mania, Speedy Barcodes, whatever, but get your barcode first. All right, make sure you select UPC. Uh, depending on the product, like if it's toys, it's gonna ask you for the um, manufacturer age, the minimum age you can use this product. So we'll just put 12. Put the product name, Beach Ball. Brand name, okay. So unless you already have a brand registered product, you're not gonna be able to actually put in your brand name and then it'll pass through. So what you can do is either you can put X or you can put TBD to be determined, okay? So we can do that, whoops. Same thing with the manufacturer and we'll put one for the part name. Um, so later on, you can change the brand name and manufacturer after you've already created your product and that you have your custom packaging done and you have your logo and brand name on the packaging. Then you send that to Amazon. Uh, you take pictures and you send, send it to Seller Central Support and then they will actually change it for you uh, and then you should be good to go from there. Then we can go to offer. And what you can do here, if you don't want to put anything at all, you can do this later, but you know, I like to just put it anyways. I'll put new, put the price at like whatever the target price is, and then make sure fulfillment channel. It's very important that you select Amazon will ship and provide the customer service, which is fulfilled by Amazon, also known as FBA. Then you'll put in some keywords in here. Uh, it'll ask for your target audience, or you could put just like unisex or something like that. And then you save and finish. 
And boom, there you go. No errors, all done right there. Now, if you did anything wrong, you would end up getting an error, like some kind of UPC error, or that you'll get a 5665 error, something like that. But obviously here, we were able to do it using TBD as the uh, brand name and manufacturer, changing it later, okay? So again, you guys have to go later, change the brand name and manufacturer. Once you've already uh, completed your product design, and you have your logo and, and um, the product sample is ready to go. Then you can go ahead and then send those pictures onto Amazon Seller Central support. Uh, you can open up a case in them. And then that's when you're gonna go over and um, prove to them that you have an actual brand right there. Before you could just put anything you want and then they'll accept it, but now they actually want legitimate brands to be uh, sold on Amazon and not some counterfeits or anything like that or anything sketchy of that matter. So this is our work way around us. So that way we are able to actually create a listing, make sure that the listing stays up. We don't have any issues with it. Amazon's not gonna flag it because the last thing we wanna do is order all of our inventory and then Amazon ends up flagging it and saying like, oh, you can't sell this product. So allowing us to do this first, creating the listing first, letting it sit there for about seven days or so, allows us to just kind of just confirm that Amazon's okay with it and check up on the listing, make sure like, you know, they're not requiring anything because if they are, then you can do that first and then you can uh, order your product after everything's cleared up, okay? So that's how you guys create a listing or a dummy listing on Amazon uh, in 2020. I'm sure this is gonna change in the next year or so, so you never know. But I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope you guys found value out of this. If it was helpful, go ahead, like the video, leave me some comments, all that good stuff. I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, go make that money. God bless, peace.